It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Welcome, everyone, to the Great Beat Extravaganza. Spring Fling 2020. Woo -woo. Day two. I'm Alex, and this is Abby. We are the Beat Place. Thank Hi. you for joining us. We've got an awesome kit that we're going to show you. And thank you all for hanging out with us this morning. We know it's probably early to a lot of folks. Uh, that it's are, early to us. Well, it's super early for us, but... <laughs> Thank you all so much. If you if this is your first time watching us in specific, make sure to like our Facebook page, The Bead Place, over on Facebook. Heart this video and share it with your friends. That way, uh, more people can find us. And just so you all know, we do we do do live streams every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, so you guys can hang out with us party time party central over there on our facebook page but yeah we're streaming this on three different places we're streaming this on our facebook page in the great beat extravaganza group and on abby berta's uh, youtube page and the great beat extravaganza facebook page itself so there's Four a bunch places. of ways <laughs> to watch us um and if you haven't yet go subscribe to abby's uh youtube page because She's approaching 50,000 subscribers, and that's a huge, huge milestone. All right. With all, all right. that out of the way, let's uh, tell um, you what we're going to be doing this morning. So one thing that I want to mention before we get started is that all the like super, super important links that you can find um, for the products and tools that we'll be showing today are in the description of this video. Alex is going to do his best to link the items in the chat as well, but for easy reference, anytime throughout the video, you can refer to the links in the description. Also, we have coupon code abilities on our website burr, 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 burr. now. We finally <laughs> so. made it into this century on the internet. So, yes. Alex, can you uh, put up the coupon code screen so that folks can see what they need to do to get 15% off on our site? Look at that. Through Monday. So use code SPRINGFLING, has to be all caps, has to be all one word to receive 15% off now through the end of Monday. Um, at beadplace.net, and that is on anything. Save um, yourself. Not shipping. Anything you purchase uh, item-wise through the store. Save yourself some money and, uh, yeah, help uh, a local business out. <laughs> Sally says, welcome to the modern age and coupon. Right? Thank Holy you. Smokes. Thank That's you. No joke. <laughs> so I'm going to switch back here. But, yeah, remember, spring fling, all caps, on beadplace.net. Yep. All one word. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so where's everybody watching from? I'm curious. Yeah, where's everybody watching from? Not only your location, but where you're watching from in terms of YouTube, the Facebook page, the B Places Facebook page, or your TV or a what? Bunch of, yeah, that is something I'm always interested in. <laughs> So the kits that we're featuring this time, it's a little bit different for us. A, it's not a bracelet, and B, it's not a set project. So um, you guys know we love our bracelets, um, but we we wanted to do some a little different <clears throat> this time. So we have the Here Comes the Sun kit. We still have little, some little. left. Um, we are nearing sold out on more than half of the colors. I think there's five or six colors to choose from, um, but uh, there, there's still a lot of really pretty kits left. Um, so we're gonna just kind of get right into it. And I'll show you some design ideas that you can do with the Here Comes the Sun kit. Nothing to it. Nothing to, it. to it, but to do it. And Alex, while we are showing off some of the design ideas, would you mind linking the um, kit itself in the chat? Yes. Thank you. So one of the ideas that I had with this kit was to create a cool pair of shoulder duster earrings. Now I love big earrings. I absolutely love big earrings. So there's enough beads in the kit to create two massive earrings like this. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this. If you are not a fan of super huge earrings like this, no worries because this can also just make a lovely tassel for a necklace. Alex, if you can switch back to uh, face cam for just a second, I just kind of want to give them an idea of 
you know, what this would look like as a tassel from a beaded necklace. <laughs> well, I'm trying, guys. So the the deal with Jupiter. this is you could just put your loop of soft flex that we'll finish with right onto your bead strand, and you've got the coolest kind of Southwest style uh, sunset color tassel necklace like that. Isn't that cool? All right, let's switch back to hand cam if you don't mind. There's enough beads also if you don't like the idea of a tassel necklace to do this really kind of simple 30 inch or longer over the head necklace. And this one is showing off the pretty red color. The earring that we showed uh, was the mustard color or the yellow color. Um, so I just want to talk a moment about the beads that are included in the kit. You have a beautiful variety of frosted bugle beads. So these are glass beads that are tubes and they're pretty. <laughs> and what I love about bugle beads is that you get the look of a fine seed beaded necklace or earrings, but it's like one bead and like 12 beads worth of work or it looks like 12 beads worth of work. Does that make sense, guys? Because they're long and narrow. It looks like you've done a lot of work, but it's just all one bead. So I, I love that kind of cheat code of using bugle beads. So you've got a variety of colors and sizes of bugle beads. The kit also contains these beautiful sun table cut coin check glass beads. And there's lots of colors to choose from. The kit also has a bunch of crimp beads and 60 inches of fine soft flex. We've got these beautiful tiara cast spacers. We've got a pair of brass ear wires, just all kinds of stuff. But my favorite part of the kit, if I can take a moment to pull it out of my box, my favorite part of the kit are these beautiful gold leaf balls. So these are actually lightweight laminate beads and it is a soft hollow wood base that has been painted in actual gold leaf and then it has a thick laminate across the top of it so it looks glittery and absolutely beautiful and light reflectant um, but it's a lot less expensive than a real gold ball <laughs> but it's not going to wear off like a, a plated metal ball would because it has that thick coat of clear laminate, which makes it even more shiny and reflective. So the idea for this kit was the Equinox. So, you know, the, the sun's coming back. <laughs> so, <laughs> we called it the Here Comes the Sun Kit. And we chose colors and beads that, um, you know, I thought reminded me of the sun. So let's get started. You guys ready to get started? Are you ready? <laughs> Yes, yeah, Suzanne says, Phil's beads, you got it. You are right there. So the kit, as I said, comes with 60 inches of fine soft flex beading wire. We specifically chose fine for this kit so that it had a soft drape and also so that we can put multiple strands of the soft flex through some of these beads. So what I'm going to do to start out the tassel or the earring is I'm gonna cut my 60 inch length of soft flex in half. So I'm just going to fold it in half and use my soft flex cutter or my flex wire cutter to just cut it right in half, just like that. I'm gonna set one of my pieces aside for now and I'm gonna get out my handy dandy bead stopper. I'm gonna put my bead stopper, oh, I would say about six inches or so down on the end and I'm going to work with this short end here. Now I'm going to move my beads to the center that I'm going to be using for my earring. How are you doing this morning, Alex? Good. You good? <laughs> Early morning for us, but yeah. Worth it. It seems like on bead extravaganza days, I can never fall asleep the night before. I'm just so excited. so excited for the next day. So I'm just like always sleep deprived. 
but it also kind of like helps to keep me calm because I'm I'm an anxious, nervous person. So always ready. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to dump out my Delica beads that also come in the kit. Sunny and 39. Oh wow. In Northeast Ohio. Wow. It's in a, in the 50s here. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's supposed to get up to like 65 today, which is nice. In my opinion, that 65 to 75 range, perfect weather. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to take my necklace off for just a second. That way I'm not banging it on the table and causing audio issues. Okay. So we had put our bead stopper on about six inches down from the end of our length of wire. Now what I'm okay. going to do is I'm going to start stringing my project. I'm going to work on these little loops right now. So I'm going to start here and work around and go to the other side of the loop. So for me to do that design, I'm going to add one of my teal bugles, one of my delicas, one of my orange bugles, cool. one of my delicas, one of my sky blue delicas, or I'm sorry, sky blue bugles, a delica, a rose bugle, a delica, an orange baby bugle, a delica, a teal, a delica, an orange, <laughs> a delica, a rose, a delica, a sky blue, a delica, an orange, a delica, and a teal. And just like that, <laughs> there you go. We have that sure. whole thing strong. <laughs> <laughs> very quick, very easy. So I'm just going to take a moment very just nice, to kind good. of have this in front of the screen. So if you want to duplicate my exact pattern, take a screenshot if you're watching on a mobile device. It's a smart idea. Yeah. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to add a crimp bead to the long end, my long tail end. Let me guess. A delica? No. And then a tila. <laughs> no, we're not even using tilas this time. Oh. <laughs> Shows how much I'm paying attention. We have been, um, we've been packing a lot of orders uh, for our uh, tila bracelets, um, so maybe that's why it's on your brain. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> nice save. So I've got my crimp bead right there. I'm going to take my short end and I'm going to bring it up through the crimp bead so that the wires are going up in the same direction. I'm going to pull my long end to tighten my loop. I'm going to leave just enough slack that I'm able to get Good my uh, crimp pliers, my crimping pliers in, and then I'm going to crimp. Now I've got a I really, crimp, you crimp, we crimp. We crimp. <laughs> We've got my short tail end here, and I've got my big long length of soft flex here. You guys ready to crimp? That, that could go on a t-shirt. When I crimp, you crimp, we crimp. <laughs> hey guys, if you don't mind, um, take a moment to like this video or give it a heart react. Give it a heart react. Because I see They're we've old. got a ton of people watching. 150 and of you. Thank you so much. You wouldn't even. I mean, it's amazing how much a heart react. Smash that heart do. button. Just tap it a bunch. All right. Get those hearts so flying. This is the fine magical crimper tool. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Come Thanks, on. guys. Come on. <laughs> this is the fine magical crimper tool. Alex, if you can link that in the chat, I think it might still be up in the web store. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Um, so what we're going to do with this, if you look on the inside of the tool, there's like a balled out section. It looks like a melon baller just came in and took a scoop out. We're going to place that crimp bead right in the middle of, oh, and here I was trying to get it super um, precise and in the shot and I moved it all out of place. So I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to bring it closer to me so I can see it. So just like that. What makes a crimper different? 
Um, the magical crimper really nice turns thing. it into a two millimeter <clears throat> beautiful little ball. I'm going to crimp and then I'll show you what it looks like. So once you get it lined up, I'm just going to bring it back to me so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll bring it back to you guys so you can see. All right. So I've crimped once. And you can hopefully see that it now looks kind of like ravioli. Mm -hmm. And we're going to crimp the sides of the ravioli now. Again, bringing it back to me just so I can see it. So we're crimping the sides of the ravioli. Now we're going to rotate it slightly huh. and crimp, rotate it slightly and crimp, rotate it and crimp. Only because we love it. Thank you, Shakita. So we, so, uh, with, the, with bugles specifically, it's important to leave just a little bit of slack so that you're not going to crack your bugles with the tension of your work. And also, like I said, you need to leave room for your tool to kind of get in there and do the job. All right. So hopefully you guys can see that it's a beautiful little two millimeter, perfectly round bead. Darlene says, I struggle to make it a nice ball. Me too. You know. Every time I've done this. <laughs> so the trick is just. It's not perfect. The trick is just your first one has to be perfectly round. And then the other trick is I always recommend using thick wall crimps or super high quality crimps. If you're using poor quality plated crimps um or really thin crimps they're not going to hold the way they should and they're not going to be round the way they should all right so now what we're going to do is repeat this a couple more times is this where the movie magic happens well kind of yeah <laughs> so i'm going to tell them what they need to do first Alaska. so we've got this oh, hi, Monica. beautiful loop here and we need to have enough room to get our beads and our crimp on the end here so what i like to do is just kind of string it and eyeball it if you want to pre-cut it that's fine but what i'm going to do now is string my spacer bead i'm going to string my golden ball. golden ball and the trick for this since it's a hollow bead is you just want to straighten out your wire as best as you can and then just carefully beat it through it's like a and snitch. i recommend not drinking coffee directly before you do this project because if you're no <laughs> that might be hard to <laughs> yeah um because if your hands are a bit hey, shaky you, it could be slightly trickier than otherwise i'll bring it back down to show you in just a second also, if you're nervous because there's 150 people watching you, that might not be the Never best nervous. time to. <laughs> there we go. So I got it through. Whew. And you can see at this point, I've got my spacer, the ball. Then what comes next is my little daisy spacer. Where'd my daisy spacer go? It's gone. It's gone. Let me get it. There it is. I have my little baggie, but I pushed it off to the side. <laughs> Spidey says, lovely. Oh, thank you. Okay. Jenny so, says, hearts, hearts, and then I heart emoji. Nice. Thank you. So, Daisy Spacer, and then we've got our coin. So, we're going to string the coin on. And just use that kind of as our gauge to make sure our pieces are long enough. So leave yourself a fair amount of room here to crimp. I like to leave about an inch. And then we're going to cut it off and repeat the same thing. Sherry sure, says you two are cute together. Oh, hey, thanks. So Alex mentioned movie magic earlier and... That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so I have some pre-strung pieces here that I took the time to string. Um, and then I'll oh, show you. Thank you, Benny. Hubby, hubby typed this for me to copy and paste. I can't type hands and arms and braces. Just wanted to say I am here and appreciate and love you all. Wanted to show my support as always, XOX. That's so thank awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. So we've got 
Movie magic. Movie magic. This is where the movie if magic I can just music not make in. a mess out of it, because I've got gonna, all these big long pieces of softlex here. I'm not gonna sing. I'll spare you all that. Oh, please sing, Alex. Enter entertain the folks at home while I'm tangling and untangling softlex. Not today. No. Not today, Zerg. All right. Fine. All right, guys. So I have just that fast I strung up another set. No, I'm just Whoa. kidding. I'm just kidding. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> so um I'm gonna show you guys again. Sally said please sing out. Sally Shay said please sing out. <laughs> so this just is, like this that. is the kind of nonsense you will get every single Wednesday if you join us for our lives over yeah. on the Bead Places Facebook page. <laughs> yep. So just like that with the bugle beads it's super fast, but I'm going to show you how to crimp again. Um, basically, what I like to do is just line it up, make sure it's centered, and crimp. I wanted to give myself a couple of different opportunities to show you guys the magical crimping tool because I know that some of you are new to it. First, and Deborah says, first time watching you two, and you two are so fun. Oh, well, thank you. We're having a good time. We're having we, a good time. We like time. having a good time. <laughs> so we're just going to crimp all the way around. Oh, it would help if I was in frame. Yeah, Sorry, I was guys. Yeah, going to say that. But... So we're just going to crimp all the way around several times. <laughs> you can't have movie magic without music and singing. <laughs> That's true. All right. The only time. So at this point, I'm just going to actually trim the tail end down flush. We didn't do that before. Mm -hmm. um and we mm -hmm. should have <laughs> so that's my bad guys. amateur hour out I know. here y'all i'm not awake yet i feel bad for the people that like it actually says, is practicing really early with my magical crimper right now oh awesome so how many of you in chat have a magical crimper that's what i want to know and if you don't i am dropping the <laughs> link to our web store Right there, you can purchase a magical crimper for the low, so, low price of nineteen ninety five plus shipping. I'm just going to use this piece that I've already done to gauge how long this next piece needs to be and trim it. Everybody has one. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have the fine magical crimper? That's what I want to know. Because there are different Shakita, sizes. Yeah, you, you got to get one right now on... And the, Bplace.net. Yeah, the different sizes of the wire. Oh my gosh, the, the comments are coming the... in so fast. I, I, can't, I literally can't keep up. We can't keep up. I uh, love the magical guys. crimper I've been using for Monsieur. All right, I so do. I'm going to do one more of these and then we'll talk about Hi, Betsy. how to put together the rest of the necklace. Where'd my crimp go? There it is. Magic. Becca says, Ooh, a magic crisper. Ooh. Is that an inside joke? I don't know, know. maybe. It's I don't have the best that memory. You, it's an that you're not. I love of. inside jokes. I'd love to be a part of one one day. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watch The Office? That's like probably my best. favorite show. It's the best. Jacksonville. So All right. So gonna get this crimped. Sally, you definitely need one. Speedplace.net. I just dropped, although it probably got buried in Aldra. I'll put it, you know put what? it again. I'm going to just yeah, drop it in there for you all again since we got that huge all right. rush. Well, I tried to do movie magic to make this quick for you guys, but I should have just crimped them all. I was like, oh, I'll string them and have them ready to go. And then I'll show them how to crimp so many times that nobody will have any mm -hmm. questions on how to crimp. Patricia Sullivan says, I got one, dot, 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 someplace. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, take a moment just to do a thumbs up or heart in chat for Softlex beading wire. Because without Softlex wire, this project would not be possible. Um, Brought to you, guys. Softlex brand wire is about the only, I mean, not even about, it is the only beading wire on the market that allows for drape and flexibility for projects like this to still have you know, movement in them. And it has the softest yet strongest oh. coating of nylon on the wire so that it doesn't get brittle and break. So 
So Becky says she once typed, mistyped, crimped, and said CRISPR on accident. Oh. Becky thought, Becca thought it was funny. Hey, thanks for letting us in on your inside, on inside joke. Inside <laughs> and 160 <laughs> people of our are on the inside of that joke as well. Okay, so we've got our cute little danglies here. And now what we could do, if you just want like a single dangle loop for an earring, you could do that, but we're going to be extra. We're going to be super extra. Paula wants to know, does the fine crimper do smaller crimps? Um, we recommend a two by two crimp tube. Um, theoretically, uh, you could like experiment with it, but it has to be a two millimeter. No, you can't. I'm going to take that back. No, it has to be two millimeter crimp because it's calibrated specifically for that size crimp um if it's too long it won't fit in the cavity if it is too narrow it won't crimp all the way to the wire and the one the great thing about soft flex wire is that it has this supple nylon coating other wires don't have as like soft and malleable as a of a coating and so crimps don't hold on as well uh onto the soft or onto the wire as they do with soft flex. So again, thumbs up in chat for <laughs> for soft flex. Neely has bananas. Alex and Abby have magical crispers. You know, we'll just have a whole refrigerator full of fun. Bananas don't go in the refrigerator though. You could put them it's in a refrigerator. A fruit market. If you want. Maybe. I don't know why you would. I don't you know. know. Waste their space. But. Who refrigerates their bananas? So guys, I have these three pieces here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Paul redo so the work the that difference? I did earlier. The difference between the fine magic crimper and the regular magic crimper. The regular standard magic crimper is sized for medium wire, whereas the fine magic crimper is sized for fine wire. So the fine magic crimper is what you need for this project um and the the <laughs> purple one andrew says maybe in banana pudding yeah definitely in banana yeah pudding. for sure oh my gosh my aunt got me this really cool thing for my birthday it's like uh it's like a soft serve maker that you put frozen fruit in and it makes like the most delightful um phenomenal yeah of course this is going to give me trouble like Anytime I'm not doing stringing through hollow beads on a live stream, do you want to just go back to face cam? Because I'm going to be holding this by my eyes. I was going to say, anytime I'm not doing this on live stream where there's lots of people watching me, I do it so quick. But like, low key, guys, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> you want me to do it for you? No, I got to do it. There we We'd go. I did, I did it. I just had to acknowledge that it was difficult for me. No, and and now we're good. Now we can go back to. <laughs> Andrew says that's it. TGBE live. It you know we have done lives at our house. The St. Louis actually. area is like the middle of everybody. So let's do it. It's literally the middle. not at our house though, for real. Can, are we? Can you go back Nobody to him, Kim, please? Oh, thanks, Christine. All right, so, so far I have added this cute little wavy tear cast spacer. And because it's wavy, it does a great job of hiding the crimps because it kind of like, you know, cuts What's the a little bit. Sorbet maker? Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll post about it in our Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Great Beat Extravaganza, make sure to join the Great Beat Extravaganza. And then if you're not a member of the Bead Place, Facebook group, go ahead and join because there's Chris, lots of fun in there. Too. Kristen said, Alex is helpful. You got this, Abby. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that someone thinks I'm helpful. <laughs> so we have our wavy spacer, our giant sun gold bead, and then a daisy <clears throat> spacer. And now what we're going to do is string our check glass sun on to those three wires. <laughs> And the fine wire allows you to go through all of this easily. I promise it's easy. <laughs> so now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to create that loop at the top that you can either attach to an ear wire or you can attach right into another necklace, whatever you want to do with this. If, wouldn't this make a super cute fan pole too? 
Julia Dvorak says, I enjoy the way you teach. I learned so much. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And I dro I just dropped the uh, kit link into chat again, just so it's been a while. So I just thank you, Alex. wanted you all to uh, so have access to it. What I've got right here is I've got my crimp bead strung on to the ends of the wire. Oof. I'm going to make sure to get all of my three wires down through that two by two crimp. And I'm going to individually go in and pull each of these wires to make sure they're all up tight. If you don't go in and pull each wire individually, you might end up with a little bit of slack at the bottom, which is fine. Slack is whack. That's not what I want. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my longest cord, which for me, this is this big long guy, and I'm going to just put it back through the crimp bead. And this amazing fine wire is going to allow for you to do that. So I'm just going to work it back through. And it, it is going to be a tight fit, guys, but it's going to be a perfect fit. So it might take some time to just kind of it finagle it. it. It is. It. Yeah. We are putting our thing down. Flipping We're flipping it, it and yeah. reversing it. Sure, We're going to reverse the wire back. and bring it back in the opposite direction. And now we're going to go in and do our final tension adjustments. So we show this trick all the time. When you're having a hard time getting all of your slack out, what you can do is go in and just hold the wire at the top and pull the crimp down. Then you hold on to the crimp and pull the tail end out. So Deborah wants to know, do you have to worry about crossing the wires using the magic crimpers? No, that's the other fantastic thing about magic crimpers is that you do not have to worry about crossing the wires. It is amazing. Now, for earrings you know, like no. this, I like to make sure to leave a fairly large loop. There it is. And then that allows for a bit more movement, especially if I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with the project. I like to leave a large loop. That way, I'm sure that it can go on whatever I need it to go on. So I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit more. And now we're going to take our crimping pliers and we're going to go in and crimp. And I crimp. Just like we that. Crimp. We, we all crimp. crimp. Merch coming soon. <laughs> You're funny. All right. Check that out. We're going to take our flex wire cutters and we're going to trim our tail ends. But just make sure you're only trimming the tail end and not your loop and not your wire running through the rest of your project. And look at me. I don't know if you guys see this, but like I accidentally looped my tail ends through my loop while I was crimping. So I'm going to pull them out. If you have fine crimper, can side. you still crimp with the medium soft flex? Veronica. Um, I mean, you could, but it will damage the size of your tool. Danger will the, Robinson. Like the calibration over time. Soft flex has a great stainless steel core, but what happens if you're using the wrong size wire? Um, over and over again in your uh, fine magic crimper is you see this little tip here. I hope you guys can see that. Can. Um, it'll get stretched out eventually. And so it's always best to use the specific tools for their specific purposes. That way you're not only going to get the best finished result, but you're going to get the most life out of your tools. Um, most of these tools uh, that we've had here in the store for store use um, that like we use in our classes and everything, as long as we keep a close watch on them to make sure that they're being used um, by our students or people that are borrowing our tools here at the shop, right. as long as we we're sure to, to help people to know what to use them for, these tools last forever. But forever. If, they are mis <laughs> if they are misused over time, it will kind of damage the surface of your tool. So don't hopefully want, that makes sense. Don't want damaged tools. Right. To no bueno. <laughs> so this is what we've got now. So we've got this cute little tassel. And you could either make it into an <laughs> yeah. earring. Unless your dog gets older. Yeah, that's true. 
you could either make it into an earring or you could string it directly on to another necklace. So if you're wanting to use this kit to create a tassel for a another necklace, uh, you do have a ton of other uh, cool. bugle beads and delicas left over that you can implement into another necklace. But if you're if you don't really like the style of an earring or a tassel like this, you can just actually go ahead and create a necklace with just the parts and pieces that are in your kit and you can get a super long, beautiful necklace. So do how you, much time do we have left? Well, they work on extra fine. That is a question for Sarah or Kristen. <laughs> Sarah and Kristen, if you're still watching, can you answer that question for me? Face cam. Face cam. Oh, all right. So what I was gonna do is get another piece of our Softlex beading wire in fine. And um, we can, are we good on time to start? I don't know. Another? What time do we have to be done? I think we have an hour, so that means we have 25 minutes, right? We finished quick. I, my glasses aren't that good. <laughs> I think we're good, though. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leftover piece of wire. You could, if you're just doing the necklace, you could use the full length and get like a <clears throat> super long necklace. Um, but let's let's start showing you guys just the simple necklace idea, if that's okay with you guys. Good morning, if, Barbara. Really good. You can watch the replay. Um, as soon as this live ends, you should be able to watch the replay. So if anyone's coming in late, uh, you can watch the replay. And the kits will be on sale until they're sold out. So. And they are close to being sold out. We do and have limited quantities. Some of these are discontinued. Right colors. now, let's, let's uh, remind the folks, since we have so many more people in here, there is a discount code, a spring, spring fling is the discount code on our website. Yep. All caps, one word, spring fling, you'll save yourself 15% off now through Monday. And that's over at our website, beadplace.net. Check it out, save yourself some money. You're so good at this. Yeah, you know, I'm a pro. What can I, he is a pro. What can I say, y'all? Oh, oh twitch.tv slash Les Alex. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so, guys, thank you. Yeah. Through the through movie magic, as Alex mentioned earlier, <laughs> I have just now just that quick strung up this sequence of my favorite pattern of these bugle beads. And so that's my cute little loop that I like at the bottom of this. So because I want a little bit more of a statement look at the bottom, and because let's say I'm just making a necklace out of this kit and not doing the earrings or the tassel pendant. I'm going to double up my spacers. That's one of my favorite tricks for when I need the look Magic. of a of a really interesting <laughs> contrast spacer is I just put two of them. That I just I just love that. So, I'm going to string my two wavy spacers do the wave. And I'm going to make sure that I'm starting with them so that they're in this direction so that the point of the spacer is at the top, if that makes sense. It does. I'm glad. <laughs> that I mean, way you don't have an awkward space between the wavy spacer and the gold laminate ball. Looks great, adds the perfect amount of space. Yay, actually, I'm gonna do this next one backwards. Simple, that way but it... effective. Yes. Yeah. Most great things are simple, but effective. There we go. So look at that. Isn't that cool? These tear cast wavy spacers are just gorgeous. All right. Gorgeous. So now here's where I wish I had some movie magic, but you guys are going to watch me kind of fiddle with stringing these two ends through the big gold laminate ball. Should we uh, face cam for this? We should do fast forward. Just fast forward the stream, please, if you would. Yeah. No? I don't think that's possible. Time travel. You can switch to face cam and they can watch me struggle holding this directly in front of my face. All right. <laughs> Again, thank you all so much for hanging out with us this morning. We know that it's... Oh, I did it. She did it so fast, I didn't even get so my spiel. So fast. <laughs> all right, back to hand cam. <laughs> all right, so here we are so far. And now we're going to do our double stacked daisies. 
double stack. Oh, wrong one. I only did one of the wires instead of two of the wires. At this point, guys, we're stringing stuff on both is, of the wires. Is the gold, is the big gold ball, is the big gold bead very fragile? No, in fact, I use them for keychains all the time, and Alex is the most destructive person ever. It's true. We have it in other styles. We have memes on aside, them. Aside and from. I had the overly attached girlfriend meme. The and yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I had the overly attached girlfriend meme on one of these laminate balls, and I gave it to him as a joke. And I mean, it, it's still kicking. It's still kicking. Mm -hmm. The cord broke before the bead did. That's true. So now I'm going to take the um, beautiful yeah, red true, orange Maria. sun coin. The key is to switch the camera. I think that's the trick. We'll put have some, to remember that. Put some pressure on me. When I can't get it through, just like when I'm working, I'll just put a camera on myself and then switch the view and see if that helps. All right. So this is what we have so far. We've got our bugles, we've got our wavy spacers, we've got our laminate, we've got two of our daisies, and then we have the sun coin. And then here is where the strands break up. They separate and they'll, don't worry, they'll get back together at the end of the movie. So we're going to string. I like to work double-handed, guys. I don't know if anybody else does this. But And I'm not normally ambidextrous, but when I'm working on symmetrical designs with seed beads, I like to work double-handed. So next, I'm going to have a double, Delica. Double fist in, as they say. Double fist in seed beads. I like that. So we're going to add There's Delicas. There's going to be merch coming up. No. No. And I'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way so that I Thanks, can do Maggie. a better job. Enjoy the rest of your day as well. Thank you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, and then next we're just going to do that same pattern that I love. So I'm going to do teal. <laughs> Green. Well, Olive. it's it's a it's an interesting mix because it is like a blue, green, purple mix. So I just call it teal. Does that make sense to anybody but me? <laughs> I don't know. Ask the people. So um, now Shapiro that I've got the first section of beads. <laughs> now that I've got oh, the yeah. first section of beads, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I've got my delicas, my bugles, and then my delicas again. And now I'm just going to continue stringing in that same pattern again. I like to kind of duplicate the pattern that I have on the bottom just so it's cohesive. But you guys can do whatever you want. We've included extra bugles for you to have fun with it. Um, just make sure that you're being uh, pretty well even with the number of bugles that you're using. That way, if you start to do a design that's like really heavy on one color, you don't want to run out of that color at the end. It's true. It is true. So how's everybody doing so far? I'm going to string a little bit, and um, then we're going to kind of keep an eye on the time. And when we get about five minutes out, what we're going to do is uh, crimp it. And I might not have the full length by that time, just depending on how uh, these bugles are feeling this morning. Like if they're not quite awake yet, not not ready to work with me. They, so far, they seem to be cooperating. But guys, other than ours, what has been your favorite presentation this far, uh, so far this weekend? What has inspired you the most? What what's Heidi it? Heidi Martin says, "Love that gold ball." Isn't it cool? We love them. Um, what has been the presentation where you've learned the most or learned a cool trick that you didn't know before? We always go back and like watch the replays, but Saturday is always a super busy day here in the store for us. Um, so I like to sneak in and catch glimpses when we can but you know saturday retail so yeah no <laughs> you know how it'd be yeah so i'm gonna string this last section or this last little baby bugle on Mine here andrea allegory gallery i love their new acrylic pieces they are so cool i did actually get to watch almost that entire presentation because that was before i went into work Love your bangles, Abby. Oh, thank you. The the ones that I have on now? 
believe um, that. They're just, it's just a stack of Luna bracelets. We, we sell those. We sell those. The bplace.net. Nope. B -place the, B oh my God, I did it. I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> I though. know. Usually I do it just to kind of poke fun at her, but that was a complete accident. We uh. registered our domain. We guys, <laughs> we've been in business almost 20 years and we registered our domain before like, okay. So it was like, ah, oh, the internet, that's not going to stick around. And then we're like, oh wait. Yikes. <laughs> Yikers. So we're, I mean, we're already in too deep with that one, <laughs> but I like it. It's different, you know, <laughs> each shop expedition bracelet. I love Fabulous. that too. Yeah. They're all, all the projects that I've seen are what, just so uh, okay. fabulous. What are so, the so best fabulous. size crimps to use with both the regular and fine crimpers? Standard two by twos. I don't use anything different if I'm using the magical crimper. I just use standard two by twos. Doesn't matter which ma magical crimper I'm using. Um, I just use the two by two. Could not get the Luna bracelets to work right for me. Um, Terry, I'm not able to do a quick demo today, but if you message us, message our page, um, uh, we'll have one of our staff members follow up with you. Uh, with a, a couple of links to some of our video tutorials that have tips and tricks. Yeah, the, um, the YouTube channel has all that stuff, and we've, all that and many more. We've also demonstrated well, them free. in a couple of our live videos. We're thinking about doing like a super in-depth uh, video on our YouTube channel with all of the Snap. Luna bracelet projects. Hey, Alex, could you link our YouTube channel yes. in the comments? Um, all the important links are in the description, but I know that sometimes depending on the device you're uh, watching from, it might not be easy to click out and don't leave us. <laughs> yeah. Stay in the stream, please. <laughs> Open up a new tab. If you're yeah. on a phone, just, just wait. <laughs> picture in picture. Oh, yeah. I mean, I Facebook does that on certain phones. Fancy. Oh, so fancy. there is the link to Abby's YouTube page, YouTube channel. I always, YouTube channel is my <laughs> um, Check it out though, it's free. There's like hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. That's um, an exaggeration. There's about a hundred. Make sure you smash that subscribe <laughs> button and like every single one of the videos. <laughs> just all of them. <laughs> yeah, just take an afternoon, just, watch know, everything. Yeah. Watch, all, watch through all the ads. Hey, guys, if you have a minute, if you like while you're over on YouTube subscribing to us, go ahead and subscribe to all the other presenters um, because there are there's such great resources for tutorials, demos, product information, all kinds of stuff. And make sure to like especially remember to go ahead and subscribe to Allegory Gallery because they are trying so hard to meet their goal of um a thousand subscribers um it's a huge milestone it on is YouTube. it is and so we'd love um, to have you guys help us get them are the gold balls that. for sale on the website no because these kits have been so popular that we wanted to ensure <laughs> that we had them enough for the kit that's fine and they are a limited quantity item. We do have the smaller ones available. Um, like you can see the smaller one here on my bracelet. We have a few, like I think maybe three or four different sizes of them. Send us a message and we'll give you the give you the hookup for Kate, those. Kate says binge watching like Netflix, but better. <laughs> I when I find, and this is true for anyone that is like, I'm sure like Kate and myself, anytime I find a new YouTube channel that I like. I will just watch it for like a straight weekend and watch all their content. So, yeah. And that's what's cool about Abby's content too, is it's not tied to any, it's very uh, universally watchable. So you don't have to have been there at the same time. You can just go back, watch all the tutorials, even if it's from 10 years ago, literally 10 years ago, you can, the quality is not going to be as good because yeah. she's upgraded her equipment over time, but yeah. it's uh, it's all watchable. So it's, awesome. <laughs> it's, it's watchable at least. It's, watch, it's, you know, <laughs> it's not great, the but audio it's watchable. Might not, no, uh, it's great. <laughs> it is great. I've been doing YouTube since I was a, a teenager, so we'll we'll just leave that there with the cringe about twenty years ago content that may or may not be in the beginning parts of the channel. 
it's easy to binge YouTube. Oh, it's so easy, especially if, like I said, if the if the videos aren't time sensitive, right? Like a lot of yeah, a lot of YouTube, like, a lot of YouTube, doesn't you make have sense to watch anymore, it cause... about a a day or two after because it's very topical. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick update with where I'm at so far. Thank cause... you, Shelva. This is what we've got. Oh, we've got our little right loop there. at the bottom and the ball and the beautiful glass sun. Guys, these are table cut suns. I just want to take a moment to talk about that. Um, table cut means it has this like shiny plane across the top where they've gone and just like cut it flat so it's more light reflectant. It's an extra step that they take on some of these beads. Um, not all of the sun coins even are table cut, but we went ahead and selected our favorites from our table cut sun beads for this kit because we love table cut. Andrew said, thanks for the shout out. We're so close. Oh, yay. Of course. Happy to help. Yeah. We know how. Both of us. I have a YouTube know channel. I'm is. not going to plug mine because y'all want to be interested, but <laughs> I definitely know the grind that is the YouTube 1000 subscribers slash, what is it? 50,000 watch. I don't know. Andrew, what is what is the requirements now? It might have changed. They changed it during the pandemic. Well, I don't know what I got, they are now. That's when I got mine. I know when you got yours, there was no requirements. You're that's like, not true. No, you could you could uh, monetize off the rip. No. Well, it's not true. They did change it, though. They did. So it, yeah. it's changed several times. It went from, I guess, ah! when you started. I flung a bugle. That's why we give you extras. That's OK. That's funny. Let's oh, not let's stuff. not argue about YouTube. <laughs> YouTube monetization <laughs> tips and tricks. <laughs> oh, did I forget my delicas? I forgot my delicas. So That's Abby, funny. not cringy of you, says Kate. Uh, <laughs> Four thousand watch hours. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is where I found you. I've been watching. Oh, Brenda, the the name that displays on your YouTube account is the name of our old landlord, and you just about gave me a, a heart attack because we <laughs> moved out of a building not too long ago, and I was like, what? <laughs> but <watched>. thank you. <laughs> That's really Rebecca funny. Rebecca says, I watched a 10-year-old video not too long ago. It was awesome. The tips in the video were perfect. Aww. It made learning experience so much better. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, that... That one just comes naturally, though, Andrew, the, the watch hours. Just got to make really long videos. Just make five-hour long videos, and you'll get there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, set up, like, a, a line of burner computers and burner accounts and I don't watch. A, no, I'm don't joking. Don't that, do they that. Will, they, they will find out find by you. your IP address. Yeah, I was joking. They'll take away those views in those hours. I was joking. Um, Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> no, we've never done that. But we have asked our family to watch every single video nonstop so that we get boosted up. Boosted. Boosted. It is not easy to build the audience. I think a lot of people think making a living off YouTube is a piece of cake. Oh, so, no. Yeah, no, definitely not. You got to be. No, no, no. Consistency is king. Yeah. I keep forgetting my delicas. I'm getting excited, getting towards the end here, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get close. And then I just don't add my cute little delicas <laughs> on. Andrew said, I, I talk so I can make a five hour video. <laughs> That's funny. I Dude, think that's that, why like. My videos are so short. I'm just a speed talker. <laughs> yeah. All right. How? Oh, we're getting pretty close. All right. I'm going to add the last go. few delicas and bugles on, and then I will show you guys how to finish this off for an over-the-head necklace. So generally, we like to have over-the-head necklaces no shorter than 24 inches. You can, of course, measure your own head and figure out what works best for you, but a rule of thumb is that if it is an over-the-head necklace that you do not want to go shorter than 24 inches. Um, and then that way it's easy for you to get it on over your head or over your glasses or your big old ears or my big old ears. Yeah, that's true, Tammy. I was joking mostly. If, <laughs> if you make it too long, people will not watch. Yeah, I see I see videos sometimes that are like an hour long and I'm just like, eh, I'm not going to get. Unless I'm going to sleep. Does anybody do that? Put on YouTube videos as they're falling asleep? I do that almost every night. 
piece. I do that almost every night. All right, so once you get to the point where your necklace is getting to be long enough, what you can go ahead and do is string one of your Delica beads on one end and one of your crimps on the other end once you're at a symmetrical point. Oh, no. Then pick, so we've got a Delica and a, a crimp. Then pick the next bead that would be correct in the sequence. So for me, that's one of our cute little um, bugle beads, the baby bugles in orange. And then you're just going to put your wires through that crimp in opposite directions. I fall asleep to you too. Yeah, me too. Podcasts on you too? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna a bunch. we're gonna correct any tension issues just by kind of laying your necklace out flat kind of straightening everything out and then you're just going to want to pull from either side like this just to make sure nothing's caught anywhere bugles are occasionally kind of tricky um and they like to hold on to the wire in some places where did my you had it this whole time i was looking for my crimp tool so now that you can see we've got our wires sneaky. coming out of the opposite directions here, we can go in and slightly pull out the tension. You see how I'm kind of using my fingers to pull the tension? The fine wire does not have the same amount of like grab as the medium has. So sometimes it's important to go in actually, like, while you're setting your crimp and actually kind of adjust your tension as you're doing the first crimp. So I've crimped. I'm going to rotate, crimp, <laughs> rotate, crimp, rotate, crimp, rotate. And I'm just going to work around in a circle. <laughs> my daughter plays My Little Pony Lullaby on YouTube all night long. Boy. <laughs> yeah. So now what I like to do is... <laughs> cut off tail ends that are long enough just to tuck into those next beads with the fine wire it does make it easy to tuck the wire into the next bead and let me give you a tip if you have started your crimp off kilter a little bit and you're not happy and not confident in the way it's going to hold it's okay if you go in and just give it a little bit of an extra squeeze, a light squeeze with the oh tip my. of the pliers, just to ensure it's held properly. Uh -huh. If it's one of those projects where like you don't want to restring it and you're, you're too far into the crimping process to, to like, you know, try again, um, you can go in and just uh, tighten it with the tip. Kate asks, will any crimps work with this tool or do you have to use the magic? Um, it has to be a two by two a uh, good quality crimp tube. All right. Minutes, just so you know. Thank you. So we're going to trim ends and tuck. And that's that, guys. We've made a bracelet. We did a tassel pendant or ear, uh, not a bracelet. We made a necklace. I'm just in bracelet mode because it's GBE. Um, so let us know. Um, okay. Let us know if you have uh, project ideas for this kit outside of what we've shown. Um, I know that I was it. Oh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned they were going to use some of the bugle beads from the kit in combination with the allegory gallery pieces. Um, so I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, we would love to see your finished projects of what you do with this kit. You can post them on our kit post in the Great Bead Extravaganza or in our Facebook group. It's just the Bead Place Facebook group. Yeah, and I just posted the kit in the comments so you guys can click that and remember now through monday we have 15 percent off on beadplace.net save yourself 15 percent by using the coupon code spring fling all one word all caps uh, and that's a thanks to everybody that's been participating with the great bead extravaganza helping support all these amazing small businesses and creators uh, because without you all i know we certainly wouldn't be here doing yep. this. So we really do appreciate it. And shout out to all the amazing other creators and companies that are in the Great Beat Extravaganza. And speaking and who's next? Yeah, and speaking <laughs> of the wonderful 
uh, presenters in the bead extravaganza. Next is Heather of Humble Beads. Uh, you have a few minutes, so go get a snack, go to the bathroom, get yourself a drink, and get ready to be inspired by Heather's just incredible project. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. Adios.